Right, hopefully just a quick video on the bleeding procedure of an F10. So, things you will need to do for this are pressure bleeder. All right. You want all four wheels off. You want a suitable wheel to pressurize it. Oh look, Mercedes. All right. And you also need BMW ISTA and preferably tether the car to a point in the wall. You can't really do a D. You can't do the bleed properly without uh, using ISTA. There's a few things that have to be done, such as the DSC needs to be activated in order to shake all the bubbles out of it. Um, you can do this yourself. It's easier to do it with two people, but uh, yeah. I've been driving the car around for about a day now, and I can safely say, A1, job done. A couple of points to note. The bleeding procedure goes in an anti-clockwise anti manner as you're standing at the rear of the car. So I think it goes rear left, rear right, front right, front left. You bleed the car as normal, pressure bleeding it obviously, and then you click on continue when it tells you to keep whatever brake caliper open to allow it to bleed, and then the DSC pump will activate. Yeah, let's press continue. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we got anywhere between 20 seconds to 90 seconds. I know in one case, one of the corners of the car took about, I think it was two minutes it took, something like that. So just bear that in mind. Second of all, make sure you read the codes twice and clear them. Because when you're finished the procedure, you will, read your, you will read your fault codes after seeing DSC um, error messages and ABS um, connection errors and contact BMW service, drive slowly, blah, 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 blah. The first time you read the codes, it won't show that. The second time, it'll show the three DSC errors, which are clear, and then you'll be fine. Third of all, ISTA is fucking huge. Now, I'm not going to tell you where I got it from, but you do your own research. The full package for me was nearly 120 gigabytes. And as well as just unpacking the software, you have to install it. You have your downloaded file as well. There's a compressed, I think it was a 7Z I got or a zip. Either way, you need a lot of storage. I'd recommend a 500 GB SSD minimum. And the laptop I used was an old crappy Dell 5440 I repurposed uh, Core i5. If you can get an i7, better again and lastly I would say don't attempt to do the brakes on these cars without actually using the software because I found this out um, I was changing the pads in the car um, I found the parking brake wasn't working as well as it should now that's the test I was looking for And then if after testing it a little bit, I realized the pedal was soft as shit. So anybody that says you can flush the fluid on these cars without using the BMW software, take that advice with a pinch of salt. You might get away with it, 